Hi, uh, I'm Dan Baum. I'm a third year law student at Weiner University School of Law in Delaware, and I'm vice president of the Health Law uh, Society and an editor of the Health Law Colloquium. Well, the, the one thing that I, I thought was pretty awesome about this semester was I didn't really have to, you know, chase everyone down. I sort of, you know, people were like volunteering to submit articles, so that was a great thing. So that really helped me. And I, because of that, um, people were submitting articles before the deadline, which just made the, giving me more time to edit, so that was really helpful. And um, it was basically a Microsoft Word uh, product, and I converted it to PDF and um, submitted it online. So this, specifically, there's kind of three areas that this colloquium covers this semester. Um, Professor Pope, he was a associate professor of law here from up until 2011. Um, so he kind of starts off the article with creating this career guide for new incoming students, which I think is, you know, really helpful for people that don't know a lot about health law and are interested because it, it's it's a big field and it's you know especially now with the Affordable Care Act, it's 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 a good area to get involved in if you're looking for a career. So. So that would be the first area. The second area is sort of what a majority of people were focusing their papers on, and that's sort of economics and the idea that we're sort of balancing ethical decisions, like what is right, you know, do people have a natural right to health care, do, you know, the Supreme Court hasn't ruled on that, and, um, you know, or said, said that we do, have the right to health care and so it's the question of do, do does the government owe you know a duty to its people to give health care or you know on the other hand physicians want to get paid and you know it it we do have a privatized system so it's sort of these conflicts that a lot of people that wrote articles for this year have sort of like trying to balance do we you know is this a natural right that people are entitled to or you know is it uh, professional service that requires compensation and not only um, were people writing about you know the United States health system but they're talking about global systems they're talking about um, systems in Costa Rica and England and other countries so um, I thought it was not only very interesting but also very current with what's going on now and very important and then um, a couple of students wrote about more, um, I guess you would call it, um, like philosophical issues, sort of. I think Caitlin Lutz wrote an article about um, uh, suicide laws, whether, you know, we should have um, assisted suicide laws, and um, how states currently, I think three states are or two states have enacted assisted suicide laws and the third one is in the process of doing so. And it's kind of interesting to see how it's becoming less of a, you know, taboo and more of a, you know, logical decision for a certain jurisdiction. And the other thing that was kind of difficult was that, um, you know, I kind of didn't have a lot of training or like wasn't really introduced in how to do anything to this magnitude, so it was kind of difficult. But I mean, it definitely was manageable. I hope they get interested. I mean, I mean that's my job or part of my job. You know, I want people to more people to come to health law society meetings. I want people to find that as an interesting to, career to get into because I personally do. And um, that's what I think the thing that's awesome about this semester's colloquium is that you know. Professor Pope's a great academic scholar and a professional, and he knows his stuff. And I think that he wrote an excellent article about how to get involved and why you should get involved. And I, th I hope when people read that, that they 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 will. And just the last thing I'd like to pretty much thank everyone that contributed. You know, this would this would have been impossible without everyone that was involved. All the students that uh, you know volunteer to submit, and you know without hesitation, and that we're open to 
my edits and changes, they were really helpful. So I was really thankful for that. Um, and then to Sean Quinn, he was another assistant helping me with editing and it was really helpful for me because some a few of the articles were on international law and because of that I, I didn't have you know a lot of understanding of that type of citations and blue booking so he was helpful with foreign jurisdictions and um, uh, international treaty citations so that was really helpful and finally I, I'd like to thank uh, Professor Pope for getting involved with this which was awesome you know he like I can't imagine the this this semester's issue would be the same without him. Like it was a really helpful um, article, and it's it's a really good piece, and I I think people are really gonna like it.